Mm. This video is sponsored by Animal Crackers because these things are good! Oh. oh! Hey there guys, Promise Views here, and welcome back to my channel. Now before we get started, please be sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to turn on post and recreate that we're going to be missing a upload every day. Hope you guys do enjoy this video, so without further ado, let's get started. Today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Rise of the Beast Studio Series number 103, Maximal Rhinox. Again, this figure has been a long time coming. Ever since the mainline was shown, honestly, the mainline was alright. It was just something like a filler, but when this one was shown, when the images were shown of this guy, Boy, did everybody want him. Boy, does, is this figure really a huge step up the number line. And man, I am just really excited to finally have this guy courtesy of Jake Prime. Again, this figure is really, really, really cool. And in the images, man, it's insane. And this has to be probably one of my favorite maximals so far. I just can't wait to review this guy. So without further ado, let's get started. Now taking a quick look at the packaging here, we do have a beautiful image of Rhinox looking very cool. I do love the image on this. It looks very, very, very sick. Studio Series number 103, Maximal Rhinox. We got Transformers there. Side of the box, we do got a beautiful image of Rhinox looking very, very sick. Sad we didn't get to see him a lot in the movie. I really wish we did get to see more of him. Here we do have the figure in his really cool looking alternate mode in 29 steps. I say that this got about like at least 5%. This got about like... 100% so if you do the math it, it, it rounds up to 100 and then here we do I got another image of Rhinox looking cool there But yeah, that's basically it for the packaging So let's take a look at honestly this really really um mixed figure in my opinion now taking a look at this figure You can see that the head detail actually looks really really cool. I do love the head detail It looks super sick and I do 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 quite like that I also like that it has the little maximal symbol there really cool in the middle chest But yeah, look Going down the figure, you do got some nice and beautiful, like, bronze type silver uh, dry brushing effect going on. It looks really, really, really good. Like, this figure looks cool in the light. You can see all, like, the glaring effects, which look really cool. Again, there's more detail going all around the guy. And honestly, this figure is very, very detailed. Do got some detail there on the forearm. And again, just going all around the figure, looking very sick. Do got some nice detail there. And in the back, even the back is flush, which is very, very, very cool. Do got the tail there, but honestly, it doesn't bother me because I think it's in a great spot. I would say if you want to point it up, but nah, I, I kind of like it like this. But yeah, even the back, it has really, really good looking. This figure is cool. This figure is cool. Even his horns are painted like gray, but again, very cool. I do like how they did this figure. This figure is very awesome and very sick. Again, do got some nice detail there going kind of by the neck area. And again, this figure is cool. This figure is cool. It's just, he feels a little loose. We will talk about that later during the video. But again, it, it's this figure looks really sick and really cool and again the head detail looks really cool do got some green for the eyes there going which i do quite like there again got some silver going on in the face and it sucks that we didn't get to see this guy in the film all that much um rhino mode a little bit more than the robot mode which i'm honestly very sad about but not but nonetheless this figure again looks really cool really sick and I'm just sad that he this his robot mode was only used in the final battle. And even then, we didn't even get to see it as much, which I'm really sad about. But he did come with one really cool accessory, so let's take a look at that now. Taking a look at Rhinox accessory, here we do have is his battle axe type smasher thing. Really cool, I do like this. Again, do got some nice silver going on there on the spikes, looking really cool. And even though, you know, it's this part is, is painted a little darker than here, which is like a light 
on plastic gray. This is more of like just gray gray. And again, I do like that they did that. At least they gave it more color, which I do like. And again, got some more detail going on there. But again, this actually looks really cool and really sick and I'm really impressed. But let's put it on so that way you guys can see how cool he actually looks with it. Now to put on Rhinox accessory is honestly one of the hardest things to do. This is probably my main gripe with the figure is that it's honestly like like it, it, it's it's probably one if not the hardest things you will ever this does look really cool and really sick and i am happy that they included this it looks very cool and again this figure is sick he's sick it's just there's some things holding him back but nonetheless just viewing at him he, this is the best rhinox we've ever gotten the mainline one is not it this one is it especially with that accessory Woo! For my first size comparison here, we do have Rhinox next to the leader of the Autobots number 102 Optimus Prime. You can see how they both do look there. And honestly, they both do look really, really, really cool. Optimus is bigger than Rhinox, I guess. But you know what? I I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really know the whole scaling behind that. But again, these two look really, really cool together. And these guys actually look really excellent how they did in the movie. So again, really cool figures, man. Wow. For my next size comparison here, we do have Rhinox next to the leader of the Maximals, Optimus Promos. You can see how they both do look there, and this is not accurate whatsoever. I can't wait to get the Studio Series version of Optimus Promo, but until then, this is going to have to do. Again, they both do look cool. They both do got some nice color effects, but I think Rhinox takes the cake until I get the Optimus Promo. But for now, this is how they look, and again, pretty cool. For my next size comparison here, we do have Rhinox next to Cheetor, the Studio Series Cheetor, and now these two look sick. These two look really, really, really cool. And again, they both do look screen actors how they did in the film. Again, they both look amazing. And again, the fact that, that we got this is insane. They both do look awesome. And the scaling works perfectly in my opinion. And for my last size comparison here, we do have Rhinox next to little old core class freeze. As you can see how they both do look there. And again, both do look really cool. I do like these two figures. The amount of poses that you can do with them, I can't wait to get maybe one or two more freezers. But until then, I, I like this and I have no problem with this. It looks freaking awesome. And I totally forgot about Air, Air Rangers. That'd be easy. Yeah. Now for the articulation, this word gets a little spiffy. Remember in the beginning when I said that I had mixed feelings about this guy? Here's where the mixed feelings comes in. Uh, for the head, it is on a ball joint. He can look up that far and he can look down that far. Um, his head can move side to side, but it's like a weird angle that you have to grab and that's roughly about it. It's really tight. His arm can move out about that far. Bicep swivel very tight, bent at the elbow, and he does have a beautiful wrist swivel, which I do love and I appreciate that for that. He does have a beautiful waist swivel, which I do thank them for that. Now here's where it gets a little eh, yeah. Uh, his leg can move out about that far, which I do like. His leg can move back about that far, which I do like. He has a thigh swivel, bent at the knee, and he does have a beautiful ankle pivot. The portability on this guy is not that bad. I do wish it had more posability. Honestly, I was expecting a lot more posability than what we did, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, there's just, again, there, there's a con at the end of the video that I will be talking about that I do wish, I don't know why it's limited, but it is what it is. And again, he's top heavy, which I don't like, but again, Really cool figure nonetheless, posability is alright, not the best, and uh, yeah! But alrighty guys, I think it's time, I think it's time for me to transform him into its really, really, really cool looking Rhino mode that he was in for about 99% of the film because the robot mode didn't get a lot more- This... Rhino... Looks... insane. I love this! I really love this, man! The, they- they- I- I don't- Oh my gosh, this Rhino looks amazing, and boy, I can't- woo! Are you kidding me right now? This is insane. This is insanity. Just looking at that head sculpt, they painted the eye green. Are you serious? Yeah, this looks really cool and really sick. I do like that they also painted the horn, which looks really cool. They nice detail going on the face, and even then going down the figure it looks so freaking cool now i know the other side people can be like but that's a giant hole you know that's a giant gap and i understand but nothing else that i don't see any other way they could have done it the chest became the belly and man i i no one's gonna pose a figure like this guys come on but again really cool do got some visible head syndrome but it's okay but yeah look at that i just can't get enough with this figure this figure looks amazing are you serious just the paint detail going all around this guy is fantastic. I love it. And his hand and his mouth, I'm sorry, can open and close, which I do love a lot. But man, I just, like, 
This was the most simplistic, most easiest transformation. I had no problem transforming this guy. I know with, with certain figures I have I have trouble and you know it's a pain, but this figure I had no problems whatsoever. And even the tail is articulated, which I do like as well. And everything on this figure feels nice and solid. In the rhino mode, everything feels nice and solid. And again, is this rhino posable? Yes, he is, and I do love it. He does have more articulation. Again, the tail can move. His head can go up and down, which I do like a lot. I love that. Uh, he still has the ankle pivots and stuff very slightly but it is what it is and again it can go in and out and stuff and man it's it looks cool this figure looks insane i i'm not a really like a rhino fan but this is a very accurate rhino just the painting i i don't know if it's the painting i don't know what it is but man is this looks insane and i honestly love 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 this mode and again thank you studio series for making this and again, had no problems with this guy of transforming him. It was simple. It was easy. I, I, I like it, man. I like it. Just because here is Rhinox next to Air Razor because she was already in her alternate mode. And man, they both do look sick. Both do look really, really, really cool. Again, Studio Series, thank you so much for making this. And I can't wait to get my hands on Optimus Prime because I will, that will complete the collection, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it will complete the collection, man. Woo, we're almost there. Three down, one to go. This guy does not count. But alrighty, guys, I think it's time. I think it's time for me to close out this video and give my overall review and my overall grade on this guy. And I know in the beginning I said I had mixed feelings about this guy. And trust me, I still do. It's just I wish that they put a little bit more focus also into the robot mode. I'm going to explain why I have a few cons with this guy and why I gave him the grade I gave him. But again, nonetheless, really cool figure, and you guys should definitely pick this up for sure. But yeah, guys, this probably is one of my favorite Maximals that I own right now. Of course, the Totem is Primal comes out, but man, nonetheless, really cool and really great figure. But here's my overall review and my overall grade on this guy. Alrighty, guys, there you go. There you have the Transformers Rise of Beast Studio Series number 103 Maximal Rhinox. Now, what do I think? I think this figure is actually really, really, really cool. Honestly, this has to be one of my favorite Maximals that Studio Series has released so far until Optimus Primal comes out, of course. But until then, this figure is going to be very hard to beat. Again, I know there's not that much bronze on there and he looks a little bit too silver gray. But honestly, it looks really really good i like the combination from the rhinox to the robot motor vice versa transformation super easy and very very fun to do i've done it so many times already and man i'm just honestly it's it's really smooth it is really smooth but like every figure it doesn't come without its cons but for that i do have to give this figure a solid eight out of ten yes an eight out of ten on this figure is really 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 good it's just there's just a couple things that this figure has that I really, really don't like. So, without further ado, here are the cons. Con number one is going to have to be that he's top heavy. The bottom, from the knees down, it, it does not support him whatsoever. And I tried fixing it, I tried doing like stuff to it, but it just wouldn't go. And that's one of the cons with this guy that I really don't like. So, whenever you try to go pose him and try to hold him, he all of a sudden, like, leave that. Lean back. So it's like, ah, uh, dude, it's it, it's annoying, but you know what? It is what it is, I guess. My second con is going to have to be the lack of posability. Now there is a way to fix this. If you go to the arms, you can basically untap it so that way his arm can get like a full range of motion. And I feel like that this figure lacks that. I feel like this figure on the arms lacks the range of motion. So what you can do is you can untap it, and then you can have like a full range of motion to get this most dynamic poses. But the fact that I gotta untap that, like. Why? Why do I need to untap it? But it is what it is. But even then, there are just some things like the head can't even move up or down that much and it's very limited. And the waist swivel does help, but just not as much. And I did wish this guy had more posability, but you know what? At the end of the day, again, it is what it is. But yeah, other than those two cons, honestly, this figure is freaking good, man. I, I am really shocked that I actually like this figure as much as I do. And even though maybe he should have got a 9 out of 10, but... I think an 8 out of 10 for this guy is going to have to do it. Again, a really cool figure and do I recommend. If you're trying to complete the set, I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys get this guy. Of course, if you can find him, I know he is really hard to find. But I really hope you guys find him soon because, boy, this figure is honestly really worth it. And I can't wait to get Optimus Primal because, boy, that's going to complete the set. 
And I really can't wait for that guy. But already, guys, I think that's gonna do for me. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to turn on post so we get out of a single blurry little. If you guys do enjoy this video, and again, I'm just happy that this figure exists. I'm happy that this figure is here. And man, I I uh, thank you, Jake Prime, for sending me this figure again. I'm I know this is gonna happen the, the moment the pa when the package arrived. I found a Rhino and a Megatron, of course. But yeah, other than that, it's been Promise Reviews. Remember to stay calm and keep moving on. So I'll make sure you guys on the next one. Bye. Never seen a Mexican eat animal crackers before? Porque me acuesto aquí Si sé que me odias por suerte El pasado es el pasado Ahora de seguir adelante